Okay, hi everyone, this is Ishurumi. Well, this evening, I'm going to be doing a video for Guru Purnima, the day to worship your Guru, which I know that was yesterday, but better late than never. So for Guru Purnima, I'm going to be sharing some Guru stories. You see, if you've been following, like, my channel and all, you'd, you'd know that I, I've been a big part of, like, um, art of living for a while and and like um or more like i've been like really active with it and you know it's a big part of my life but well you see you see like 2020 was like really hard for me it was like just hardship after hardship after hardship and it just wouldn't stop and and so i didn't Art to living, they're always talking about like the grace of the guru, and and so it kind of really hurt my faith in such things. I ended up losing faith in such things, and so for a while I like drifted away, and so which is kind of understandable if you ask me. And and also another thing you would notice if you've been following me for the past couple of years is that. I've also started to awaken to certain things that I used to like kind of ignore whatnot. Stuff that would be vulgarously known as conspiracy theories. I mean some of which are were already predicted in like the Vedas. Like did you know the New World Order is mentioned in the Vishnu Purana? Yeah, and but then Guruji I I would see him like like agree with mainstream media on so many things and so I was also starting to not trust him in a way so so yeah that was those are the reasons I kind of drifted out of auto living for a while and so I wasn't active wasn't taking courses or doing seva for a while and, but then like I think it was April or May like out of the blue like a friend from my one of my friends from the Dallas group, uh, like, invited me to this I Stand for Peace event that was going to be in Dallas, and and I thought to myself, even though I'm not really much of a devotee anymore, I felt like I wouldn't get an opportunity like this for a while, so I thought I might as well take advantage of it, and and also, I also thought that meeting Guruji would be the only way to see if he was really as innocent and holy as he truly was, so, so that was another reason I went, and also, because of all the hardships I was forced to endure in 2020, I felt like I was overdue for a vacation too, so that was another reason I went down, so, so I like scheduled the trip and went down there in May, and and it went very smoothly, especially considering it was Mercury Retrograde, or Bud Retrograde. <laughs> yeah, I like astrology also. So, but before the main event, there was like a volunteer meetup, kind of like a preparation for the actual event, and I was lucky enough to go to that, and there was like a South Indian couple who were really kind enough to let me stay with them. I appreciated that, and so we went to the volunteer meetup that was before the the actual main event and and so like we were sitting in this conference area with like a bunch of chairs and there was a stage we were like waiting for him to come down and and when he finally came down it it was very similar to my experience meeting Kashiji, the holy man who taught the yoga teacher training. He's actually a disciple of Guruji, by the way. And it was a very similar experience, because, I mean, when he first, like, when Guruji first came in, you know, like, there was this rush of excitement and, like, the heart rate increased, because, you know, it's not every day we get to meet big, famous people like that. But, of course, that just lasted for a couple minutes. I mean, as soon as it was, like, all settled down, it was, like, all calm and kind of felt like I was just with an old familiar friend, if you know what I mean by that. So, yeah, that was that was how I felt, like, initially seeing him. And then after a little bit, there was the part where we would, like, receive blessings from him, like he would, um, like, 
touch like your head as a sort of blessing type thing and as a sign of affection and and like when we were in the line the queue the um, like there was a Persian guy who was like nearby and like at one point he held out his hand to like shake Guruji's and he said he was from Iran and then I was like Salam Halatun Chetare which means hello how are you in Persian and he replied oh merci which is thank you in Persian as well as French and of course Guruji overheard that conversation he was like oh that's so beautiful <laughs> so that was really lovely and then, of course, after the event, uh, I was lucky enough to meet um, to actually reunite with one of my friends from the ashram. He was the one that was teaching um, the Sanskrit, and he's also like a photographer, so he was like taking pictures and filming stuff. And, and he noticed I was there, and so he like said hi to me. And then he informed me that like um, when I was getting my picture taken with um, Guruji and you see, this was a very chaotic like situation because there were people everywhere, like a crowd, and and like a lot of people wanted their picture taken with Guruji, and like a and this friend informed me, and he was actually like um, monitoring the camera. He um, told me that like when I was getting my picture taken, that um, Guruji would like lead in to kind of like help me get the picture, and I, I thought that was really nice, and. I'm actually going to share it in this video, like at the end. So, yeah, that was pretty nice. And then the day after, that was the main event, I Stab for Peace, which that was also a pretty good event. I mean, it was much bigger. And, and I also did some seva for that, like, um, ushering. That was what I did. And so, yeah, that was a nice event, too. And at one point, like, we were supposed to form a human barricade, so, like, um, to keep the crowd away from Guruji, and, and so, like, we had, like, people pushing against us, and, <laughs> but at one point, like, um, when I turned over, I, like, I got a close-up look at Guruji, so, that was a pretty nice part, too, to that, and <laughs> this may sound strange, but I actually like the the volunteer preparation meeting more than the actual event because it felt more intimate to me, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so yeah, that was, that's kind of like a brief summary of that event. And yeah, and, and so like I said, I felt like I wouldn't have another opportunity like this again for a while, so that was why I went. But, but now after that, I kind of feel like I'll have more opportunities to like meet up with him and visit with him, so... Yeah, and, and also after that, I've been like doing more seva, like uh, inviting people to courses, and I've been more regular with the with the kriya, the breathing practice, and I've also been like taking care of myself better, like going to bed earlier, and like I've been doing the oil massage abhyanga a lot more with coconut oil, and so yeah, it's, I've also like I used to say I'm okay, like during 2020 and 2021 because it was kind of obvious wasn't really doing good but I wasn't like doing too terribly bad but then after that event I started saying I'm well or I'm good more often so I feel like it went up for me in a lot of ways well that's about it for the guru stories but you never know there might be more coming soon <laughs> well have a have a good night, and I hope you had a good Guru Purnima. Well, cheerio!